Alright guys, welcome back to part two of the introduction to the new Pokemon TCG Online. In the first part, we went through the uh, just how to play, basically, and then the profile as well. And in this part, we're going to go to the collection. So just click on this button up here if you want to access your collection. Sometimes these things take a little while to load. You're still getting the kinks out of it, but that's alright. Uh, so here you can take a look at your cards, what packs you have, stuff you have for trade, um, wanted and review. So, uh, first we'll just take a look at the packs. You'll see I have some Dragon's Exalted packs. Uh, I have, for some reason, I have these theme decks. I'm not actually sure where they came from, but uh, if, you, if you ever have theme decks, you enter the codes for those, they'll show up here as well. So that's pretty simple. From here, you can navigate instead of using those giant buttons on the previous screen. You can just navigate by clicking cards, and voila, my cards pop up. Now you can filter things out by all sorts of things. You can also sort them by all sorts of things. Um, you can do it by height and weight for some reason. Don't know why anybody would want to do that, but that is an option. But you have all sorts of things, like you can do it by uh, energy type, card type. I'm not actually sure what card type does, so let's look. Um, okay, looks like it's just doing it by like grass. So I don't know. What's energy type? Uh, also doing it by grass. Alright, I'm not sure what the difference of that is, but maybe you guys can play around with it and let me know what that does. Uh, you can do it by set and card number. So you can see it does uh, heart gold, soul, silver. Does that in order here. Um, you can also filter things out by their types. So say I only want to see dragon Pokemon. You can do that. And then just look and you can see all the dragon Pokemon. I'm using the uh, the wheel on my mouse here to scroll through but you can also click here as well now if you want to change the view which I do quite frequently I don't really like the carousel view I like going for the tile view it gives you more of an option to see everything so you can see more stuff at once uh, but let's say I wanna do only stage ones and it'll filter all the stage ones for me so the filters are pretty self-explanatory you can also do it by uh, set Say so I just want Dragon Vault, or I just want promos. You can see those. Uh, so the filter system works very well. It'll do it by retreat cost as well. There's all sorts of stuff here that you can filter things out by. And you know, if you want to just search for a specific Pokemon, just type it in here, and there we go. Pikachu comes up. No big deal. And then if you want to clear out the search box, just hit the X, and it's all back to normal. You can also do the list option, which just lists things out. It's a little less uh, viewer friendly because you don't get to see the pictures of the cards really, but it lists out more things at once. And if you ever just want to bypass all your filters, just click show all and it'll show every card that you could possibly have. And even the cards you don't have, it'll show you. So that's pretty much how the filters work, how you can look through your collection. But um, let's say you want to, you know, say we got this Vanillish here, and we want to tag him for trading. I want, uh, I want to trade my Vanillish. You can click there, click tag for trade. You can do it here or right click and then click tag for trade. Either one works. And then you go over for your tier four trade section here, and then there you go. All the cards that you've tagged for trade are now filtered out in this section. Let's see if we can find that Vanillish somewhere. Uh, where is he hiding? Um, see I got a lot of cards tagged for trade in here. Let's see. He's hiding somewhere. And... Oh, where is he? Let's type it in. Alright, there it is. So, it was in there somewhere, I just missed it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can still search the, the filters are very strong. They, they let you do pretty much anything. So uh, you can do that. Or let's say um, I want to show all. Let's see. Let's think of a card I don't have. Let's see. Like a... Oop. Looks like I got a trade offer as well. So that's another feature we'll get into in the future. But um, as you can see here, I don't have any of this full art dark eye. So I'm going to say I want this. And then I'm going to go over to my Wanted tab, and there it is. So this will help out in the trading feature when people can see what I want or people see what I have for trade. 
I'm not really sure what in the world review is for. Um, it doesn't seem like there's anything too special about that. Uh, let's see, we'll go, we'll type in Rayquaza here, and we'll do show all, so it can show me the things I don't have. Um, and let's take a look at this shiny Rayquaza, we'll tag that for review, and now it's over here. I don't really know what the deal is for that, but, um, yeah, you can do that as well. I'm not really sure what that's for, to be honest, but... That's pretty much all there is to it for the collection part. Um, something I just want to point out as well is if um, you ever complete trades, um, notifications, that's what this button is for. It's kind of annoying actually because they don't really go away unless you click on all of them. But you can see here I did a trade here. I accepted someone's offer. They're, uh, they're Chinchino for my Gyarados. So you can see that. It's a trade we did. So that's notifications and also friend requests. Um, you can see I have a few. If you want to just accept or decline them, you just click there. Uh, a lot of people get confused about how to add friends. So you can go to public and then if you want to see somebody you like, you can add them as a friend here. Or you can ignore them or report them if you really want to be mean. Or if they were being mean to you. So there's all these different things. Or you can just go to friends and type in someone's name. Um, so like say I wanted to add a little Jimmy. Nope, uh, I don't know if that's an actual screen name. But if you want to, you just do that and you hit enter. And then all of a sudden, I have sent little Jimmy a friend request. <laughs> uh, I should probably remove that. So that little Jimmy doesn't get freaked out from a random friend request. But that's just how you use the friend thing as well. So figured I would throw that in there. This is going to be part two. Part three is going to be all about the deck manager. And then part four will be about trading. Part five will be about the shop. So hang tight. This is part two. And we'll be back for part three shortly.